So as the COVID-19 pandemic continues, so does the creativity. And for junior achievement of the Eastern Shore, that means creativity that allows them to continue connecting with students here on Delmarva. With us this afternoon is Ivory Bando. Ivory is the marketing and events coordinator with junior achievement of the Eastern Shore. Thanks for talking to us this afternoon. Hi, Jimmy. Thanks for having me. So I, I guess, Ivory, with everything that's going on, the name of the game for you guys is, is virtual. Um, we actually have been busier than ever this year with transforming all of our traditional in-classroom um, programs that are traditionally taught to our students by volunteers from the community. We are ta we've taken that programming and actually have created custom virtual program sites so that we can put those out to our schools and to our educators to still give our students that, that vital um, information and those programmings that they need in their schools. So we're, we're busier than ever this year. JA Inspire is one of your signature events. Are you doing that virtual too? Yes. So this year, we're really, really excited about it. This year, we will be providing uh, the JA um, Inspire experience in a virtual conferencing platform. So the actual um, conferencing platform is virtual, but it looks just like a convention center when the students walk into the simulation. And we're so excited. Um, last year, we served almost 3,000 students um, from six counties on the shore. And this year we get to serve even more students since location is not really a factor for us and more businesses than ever will be able to participate. So we're super, super excited about it. That is awesome. So how has it been trying to adapt to these different times? I think it's been just like everyone else in our community. It's It's been a bit of just, you know, like you said, honing into that creativity. We are very, very passionate about our students and our community and making sure that everyone has access to the vital information and the vital resources and the education that we provide here at Junior Achievement. So that's really just been our, our why and our goal is really just focusing in on that and doing whatever we can, however we can, to make sure that our students are still getting this programming. It's so vital, it's so important, and we're doing whatever we can to make sure that they get it. Do you still need volunteers? Oh, yes, definitely. Um, we have not lost any community engagement. We are actually, all of our volunteers have been really helping us out and really, really getting excited about being able to provide um, pre-recorded vol uh, volunteer videos for all of the lessons for our JA program sites. And also any um, of the exhibitors that we have for JA Inspire Virtual will also be able to provide um, videos for the students to be able to, to watch and interact with as they go through the simulation. So we're definitely having our volunteers still engaged and still incorporated um, and the experiences with getting this information to our students. So we're super excited about that. Tell me what kind of an impact junior achievement makes on young lives. So last year we were actually able to impact 10,000 students on the shore and we cannot be more excited about that. And we are definitely pushing forward to impacting even more students on the shore this year. And the biggest thing that we like to say here around junior achievement is that we are changing the game for the students here on the shore. And what that means is we are making sure that all of our students have the tools and the resources that they need to have successful futures. So we make sure that our students are educated in financial literacy, entrepreneurship, and, and work readiness, making sure that they're going to be ready for this next you know, level of, of, of business and, and, and employment. You know, we live, we're living in a climate right now that a lot of things are new and normal is changing. And so we're making sure that our students are going to be prepared for that change, that they're going to be just as successful, even more successful um, in, in times before and after crisis. So we're making sure that our students will be prepared even far past um, this pandemic. We want to make sure that we're giving them those tools and resources. Changing the game. I love that. Ivory Bando, Junior Achievement of the Eastern Shore. Thank you so much for talking to us this afternoon. Of course, Jimmy. Thank you so much for having me.